Hi there, my name is Matt Bray and welcome to my study on telematic music performance. Real-time music performance between two musicians, each in separate geographic locations and exchanging MIDI data across the internet. This is an overview of my 2017 master's thesis. Get to telemidi.org for more info. We have two musicians performing in multiple synchronous locations using internet connectivity for real-time musical interaction. There were two performances as part of the study, the first from Melbourne to Melbourne, approximately seven and a half kilometres between each performer and a performance length of around 24 minutes. The music you hear are from these two performances. The second was from Perth to Melbourne, over 2,700 kilometres between performers and a performance length of around 30 minutes. The equipment used was identical at each location using Ableton Live 9 Suite, a Novation SL Mark II MIDI keyboard and a Novation Launchpad Pro. For connectivity, each node was using RTP MIDI to fire data at each other in a peer-to-peer -peer exchange with a duplex MIDI channel allocation and extensive MIDI mapping at either location. To analyse both of these performances, we're going to use a split-screen video analysis with alpha node on the left and beta node on the right, and we have at the top synced clocks to show synchronicity. Beneath each split-screen, we'll have a list of activities of each performer, and in the centre, details such as BPM and the performance length. So there is a dual audio scenario, whereas each node is generating its own audio stream. At the moment, we're currently listening to the alpha audio, and this will be represented by a blue flashing strip down the left-hand side. If we switch to beta, it'll flash, and then we'll see the yellow strip down the right-hand side to indicate beta audio. The examples you're about to view will demonstrate artifacts of telematic music performance created in this research. Network latency, tempo divergence between the two nodes, and telepresence, or musical interaction, the ability of one performer to be present in the space of the other. Again, for complete details and media files, get yourself to telemidi.org. In this first example of performance one, about a minute in, alpha is playing bass, and we can see that on the keyboard, and beta is playing harmony. And whilst we watch that on the keyboard, bear in mind we'll be listening to alpha audio so we can detect latency. Let's have a look. Okay, so the latency from beta playing to appearing as audio at alpha is less than a sixteenth note, and also the phrasing is quantized. Now, let's listen to the exact same performance from the beta location and note how the phrasing differs. We can hear that there are some slight phrasing alterations at the beta node, whereas most of the loops triggered are identical to alpha. Now, let's listen to both audio streams playing concurrently. So at 80 BPM, there's a 16th note difference in the tempos. The structural loops are more or less the same, whereas the music phrasing does differ. Now let's listen to one bar from each location. Starting at alpha and keeping on the alpha BPM, we'll switch after each bar. This clearly demonstrates a 16th note lag between the alpha and beta location. There's phrasing changes as well, however musicians are able to improvise in this environment. Occurrences of tempo divergence will be highlighted by the red flashing at the bottom of the screen. It's highlighted as beta because we have a master-slave relationship between the alpha and beta nodes, and tempo data is sent from the master to the slave. Any network interference and the slave won't get the information. We can monitor this slightly with the alpha latency there at the top. In this first example, we'll listen to the alpha node where there should be no divergence. <laughs> So 
So there was an occurrence of tempo divergence, but not experienced at the alpha node. Let's now flip this back to the beta node, and we will clearly hear the result of network interference. We can clearly hear the pulse of the tempo is affected at the beta node. The tempo decreases, then rapidly increases to catch up in a self-correcting manner, and the played notes are unaffected. Professor Lev Manovich identifies telepresence as the ability to be in a place other than the physical location in which your body resides. In this study, these fundamental principles of telepresence are crucial for establishing musical interaction. In this first example of telepresence from Performance 1, pay attention to the development of ideas and roles between performers. Arrows will be used to highlight main actions. Telematic music performance, such interplay has been identified as compromisation, improvised composition. Each note assumes simultaneous roles of bass, lead, performance, etc. And once that's completed, they'll assume another and on it goes. Let's have a listen to that exact same process, but this time from the beta audio. Pay attention to how the rhythmic phrasing differs. <laughs> Although fundamentally similar, the beta audio does differ to the alpha, and this is due to network artifacts. There is a vivid telepresence between the performers as they influence each other, and there is a one-bar quantized function to synchronize the larger song-building loops. Now, we'll look at another example about six minutes in, and use the alpha BPM to switch between the alpha beta every two bars. <laughs> So it's a little confusing as we flip back and forth, but we can clearly identify changes in rhythm and a rhythmic phrasing. But each node is unaware of these timing differences. They're unaware of any phrasing divergence. There's no visual contact or no audio contact. They just react and contribute to the actions of the other. And there are multiple choices of musical interaction at hand. Before we look at the network latency in Performance 2, we need to acknowledge there was a significantly greater distance between performers here, more than 360 times further apart than Performance 1. How would this affect network latency, tempo divergence and telepresence? In the same fashion that we did in Performance 1, we will listen to the alpha audio and watch the keyboard playing of beta to identify latency. <laughs> Not bad latency for over 2,700 kilometers. Now let's flip it to the beta audio and pay attention to changes in phrasing. Yeah. 
Here we see similar results to performance one. There's the same if not less latency and the rhythmic phrasing does differ between nodes. In this next example, we can see that musical interplay with alpha on lead and beta on bass is supported by low latency. <laughs> Now let's flip it to the beta note audio and listen for rhythmic changes. And finally, let's listen to both audio streams concurrently. To summarise network latency, it's very similar if not less latency in performance too. The note data is transferred within a 16th node and there is divergence in structure and rhythmic phrasing. To get a clear understanding of tempo divergence, let's look at some stats. Performance 1 had 17 events in 24 minutes, about one every 85 seconds, for an average length of 6.3 seconds. In Performance 2, there were only 12 events in 30 minutes, so one every 152 seconds, and the average length was only 4.3 seconds. Let's listen to one of the longer examples from Performance 2, about 10 minutes in, and we're listening to this, of course, with only the beta audio. In regards to tempo divergence, Performance 2 had fewer events and when they occurred they were shorter in length. As performers we used telephones as a communication portal during this time which you can view in that previous clip. However, tempo divergence presents as the most prevalent obstacle in this study. Performance 2 presented multiple examples of telepresence, one of which that stands out is the time that both musicians were playing the same bass synth, bass 3, and it is a mono synth, so it's only going to generate one single tone. With both players playing separate bass lines, it then presents as a unique, almost arpeggiated conglomeration of their two lines. So let's have a listen to the alpha audio. <laughs> Okay, so each performer was unaware that the other was playing the bass line until they put two and two together. Now let's listen to it from the beta node audio. In that clip we can also observe the beta node musician switching on and off bass sounds and altering the XY pad effects to try and clarify the situation. In the telematic performance environment of this study we need to understand that no music was scored, everything was compromised, the musicians reacted to what they heard. In this next example arrows will be used to highlight roles and we'll listen to the alpha audio. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes into performance two and both musicians exhibit a strong telepresence with each other. We'll listen to it again, this time from the beta node audio and listen for changes in tone and rhythmic phrasing. <laughs>
fantastic. So we can see in this environment, there is an ongoing and cooperative musical interaction between musicians. And in this, there's a complex array of role playing that they can choose from. There are variations in the audio of each node, and these are artifacts of system design and network behavior. However, each performer is unaware of the differences. So guys, thanks for watching. For full details, the thesis, media files and downloads, etc., go to telemidi.org. I look forward to jamming with you in the future. Cheers.